guys, let's talk about scalability. Your network may not be fast converged, right? Uh, or you don't have to have in your network fast reroute. So in case of a failure, maybe you don't have 50 millisecond convergence requirement. But even if you have small scale network, small size network, so scalability is your consideration. Always in network design, it has to be in the uh, in your mind and you have to consider scalable design. But what is scalability, right? So scalability is the ability to change, modify or remove the part of the system, entire system, but without huge impact of, of, on the overall system. Okay, so maybe we will just remove some routers or we will add routers switches any other network devices but it shouldn't affect the system entire system okay end-to-end -end data flow so on and so forth there are two approaches for scalability in general which we call scale out and scale up okay so from this picture also you can see at the top scale up approach so let's say we have router and we are adding extra memory, extra CPU. So we are trying to make that one device, huge device, big device, okay? So maybe we are adding line card, but at the end, there is a limit for, for you to put extra line cards. So chassis based device may be very big, but still there is a limit. Or for the memory as well, for memory slots, you have a limit. In down, you, you have in this picture scale out with this scale out approach basically we are not trying to make one device bigger and bigger by adding memory and cpu and some other resources storage so on and so forth but we are using almost the same device okay but multiple of them so instead of having one giant router we are keeping two middle size routers or four or if we need to grow eight 16 something like that okay in data center for example instead of talking about two tier two tier three tier uh, hierarchy so access aggregation core now we are talking about different topologies like closed topology leaf and spine topology and basically we can add more leaf more spine and so we can grow in a scale out manner so scalability through scaling up the system can be defined as to increase the existing system resources without adding a new system so you are increasing the system resources you have a router let's say you are increasing it but without adding extra routers but consider scale out uh, approach for example scale out application architecture if application can be run over the two different servers we can do some maintenance on the one of the servers without affecting any user experience so we can take one of them down and still one of them is serving to the users so we are not affecting each and every user so that's the idea with scale out approach and in general it is the recommended way scale out Okay, not the scale up. So instead of having a highly redundant one physical chassis, as I said, you can have now uh, multiple chassis, maybe not super redundant, super high available, so on and so forth. Okay. So scalability and manageability go hand in hand. While you are growing, it should be also manageable. Don't forget. So in order to perform any change, network shouldn't need flag days. Uh, when you add especially lots of technology in your network or lots of devices in your network, it becomes complex. In order to perform any maintenance activity, let's say if you need to replace hardware or if you need to add a different protocol and those protocols need, need to interact with each other so it become more complex you always should keep uh, should keep scalability in mind so while you are adding new router while you are adding new technology into the existing system scalability will be in mind and i will talk about especially uh, for the technologies by using let's say routing protocols by using mpls and other technologies how basically those technology can be made 
scalable we need to talk about because right now I am telling you just think about scalability consider scalability but how so we are not in this course we are not talking about hardware design scalability but protocol technology scalability we will talk each and individual technology after this lesson we will discuss scalability aspect I will talk about OSPF scalability I will talk about EIGRP scalability BGP scalability just let me give a very small example here, very short example, so you can understand when I say scalability, what does it mean? When we talk about BGP, for example, today maybe you don't have, you want to add BGP. So scalability should be in mind. BGP scalability means you can have route reflectors, you can have confederation, but how you can design route reflectors? Of course, this is another topic in this course, in the uh, self based course we will discuss, also in the instructor that I am discussing as well. So we need to discuss route reflector design, how we can make basically scalable BGP architecture by using route reflector, but different route reflector design options we have, which one not only scalable, but also provides optimality, so on and so forth. Scalability is, yes, important design goal, but it is not the only one design goal. We have others as well, yes, yeah, scalability at the same time, optimal routing, scalability at the same time, uh, in the case of BGP, multipath maybe, okay? So we will discuss about the technology and how we can make the each and individual technology more scalable, we need to discuss. So also, extra maintenance windows uh, means extra cost for your operation and cost is important and cost is probably one of the most important in real life one of the most important uh, design attribute or maybe constraint you can say in most of the projects so they are saying yes should be minimum cost so cost is very important next we will discuss cost mm -hmm.